Commander Exegius, and today we're going to look at the most efficient way to gain combat rank, killing Thargoid Scouts. Scouts can be found in many systems, notably in systems with attacked or repairing stations where missions will be given detailing the systems they will spawn within. As these scouts pay approximately four times the combat rank of an elite ranked NPC, they are an excellent way to gain combat rank very quickly. Let's take a look at how to outfit, find, and destroy these smaller Thargoid vessels. Let's start by talking about appropriate ships and builds. While you don't need a large class combat ship, you will want something with a great deal of hull, ideally engineered. You can use just about any good combat ship. I greatly prefer small or medium class as you'll want something rather maneuverable as the scouts are rather fast and agile. I've used medium ships such as the Chieftain and Federal Assault Ship and small class ships such as the Viper Mark III and Imperial Eagle. My personal favorite is the Diamondback Scout, which gives a great mix of maneuverability and armor in a small package with very low cost. For your build, you're going to want maximum hull, and as the Thargoids ignore resistances, there's no need to use anything other than military grade alloys. You'll want to use heavy duty deep plate engineering with as many heavy duty deep plate hull reinforcements as you can fit. A biweave shield is ideal. You can use the reinforced blueprint, but the more important is the fast charge experimental. A single module reinforcement is also helpful as you're likely to take heat damage to your modules. For your core, you'll want a standard combat build with A-rated modules including life support and sensors. I'll link several builds below. You'll also want a heat sink or two to deal with the heat damage we'll take when cleaning off caustic damage. Most important are our weapons. The best choice by far is the Guardian Gauss Cannon, and as it only comes in medium class, the DBS affords us two slots, meaning we won't suck our capacitor dry nor overheat ourselves badly when using them. I round out my build with two efficient thermal vent beam lasers to help me dissipate more of that heat, but be careful, you only dissipate heat when striking your target. If you've yet to unlock the Gauss Cannon, and if you're serious about Thargoid combat, I highly suggest you do, then the AX Multicannon that can be purchased at select stations is an excellent choice. Finally, for human weapons, plasma accelerators are a good choice due to their absolute damage, but they can be hard to land shots with given the scout's high speed. Railguns also make an excellent choice. Now that we have a ship that's ready to go, let's figure out where exactly to find our targets. First, you could join the Anti-Xeno Initiative Discord and look at their weekly update in the announcements channel. In game, you can head to the systems with stations that are either damaged or under repair and look for missions to kill scouts in adjacent systems. Once in an appropriate system, you'll be looking for non-human unknown signal sources of threat level 3 through 8. The chart on screen details the various signal source types and the Thargoids that can be contained within. When starting out, I suggest going for a threat 3 or 4 until you're comfortable with this type of combat. There are four types of scouts, Marauder, Berserker, Regenerator, and Inciter, which spawn in various threat levels. When there are multiple types, I suggest destroying the Inciters first, as the caustic missiles they fire are rather dangerous. Next would be the Berserkers, which buff the damage of other scouts, followed by the Regenerators, which heal neighboring scouts, followed by the standard Marauders. The fastest way to dispatch these scouts is by using the Gauss Cannon, usually requiring six shots or three bursts of two in the case of the DBS. While there is a delay in firing the Gauss Cannon, like its railgun cousin, the hitscan nature of the weapon is ideal for destroying these ships quickly and efficiently. If you choose to hunt in a wing, which is excellent, just be sure you get one shot on the target before it is destroyed to earn the combat rank and pitiful 10,000 credit combat bond. The most dangerous part of scout combat is the caustic cloud they leave behind and the caustic missiles they can fire. These put a layer of caustic material on your hull that can only be cleaned off by landing in a station, being cleaned with a decontamination limpet, or burned off by running your heat above 180% until you hear caustic substance removed. You'll then want to deploy a heat sink, and while you'll take some module damage, a module reinforcement should keep you functional for several fights before needing to repair at a station. While the caustic missiles can be evaded, it is rather difficult. Evading the caustic cloud that is left when they are destroyed is a bit easier, but depending on your combat vector, it is sometimes inevitable that you will fly through this cloud. While hunting Thargoid scouts is not easy combat, 
it is very enjoyable, and given the roughly four times combat rank given over elite NPCs, it is an excellent way to increase your combat rank very quickly, while unfortunately paying very poorly. We'll be looking at Thargoid Interceptor combat in our series on Thargoid combat later. Until then, I'm Commander Exegius, reminding you to fly dangerously, and thanks for watching. If you enjoyed that look at Thargoid combat, I hope you'll check out my other content and that you'll join me for my weekly live streams, Tutorial Tuesdays, and the Creators Roundtable each Friday, and that you'll consider supporting my efforts via Patreon.